Okay, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Come on in. For anybody new here, please allow me to introduce myself to you. Hi, I am Maggie, your substitute teacher. Welcome to another struggle cooking class. And I have to say, Thank you and welcome to all of you all watching from Miss Aisha's page. You know her and you love her, Cooking with Aisha. This is Wednesdays with Maggie and I am so grateful she has shared her platform uh, with me, another struggle cook and a mom. I'm not a professional, uh, but I will tell you a little bit about myself and then we are going to get started. So today I am making my very first red velvet cake. So. If you are a baking expert, I am not. I am not a professional. I'm just the daughter of a home science teacher, but I do love to cook for myself and for the family. So I'm Maggie the substitute teacher because usually I cook with sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free substitutes. So I will tell you all some of the substitutes that I use. Um, but we are making cupcakes today. I put a survey up on my YouTube page whether we should make red velvet cake, red velvet cupcakes, and red velvet cookies. Why? Well, uh, for those of you all that are new, I do have a YouTube channel and I'm also on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, and TikTok. Um, Maggie, the substitute teacher on all platforms. And I have a very strong community that uh, we have a good time. And one of our own, Brandon L. Jett, actually gifted me with my very first KitchenAid stand mixer. So I know it's a little bit silly, but I kind of feel like the real cookers have a KitchenAid stand mixer. So as a thank you, I asked him, what would you like for me to make first with our KitchenAid stand mixer? And he asked for red velvet. So I scoured the internet for a recipe and I did post the recipe and the ingredients in the description, but I'm gonna walk you all through it. Now, I am slower here, but I'm proud of myself. I put all the ingredients out and weighed and measured them, but I'm gonna be taking my time um, and that's who I am. So sit back, relax, and allow me to uh, cook for you. I know I did a lot of talking yesterday, so I wanna get right into the cooking. I see you all coming in. If you would like to be counted present, feel free to announce yourself. If you would like to watch from the clouds, you are always welcome here. We are the happy, wholesome, family-friendly side of YouTube. Okay, so we are going to be making red velvet cupcakes, which means I have to make the cake batter I have to make the frosting, we have to bake the cake, let it cool for a little bit, and then I have some ideas on how to decorate and ship them. So I'm definitely gonna need you all's help. Um, so when we have stopping points in the stream, then I'll take a look at the chat, but I wanna go ahead and get started. So let me turn on my counter here. I am gonna get a beverage. So I am going to pour a little sparkling water and I am an etiquette student so I always love to recommend to the ladies don't drink out of the can I always say like a dude take the time to pour it into a glass enjoy a enjoy a beverage it's more elegant that way and I try to remind myself to take small silent sips all right Christina I see you there you want a cupcake I'm sure I'll have plenty happy to mail you one Okay, so I always like to start by wiping off the counters, try to keep a clean kitchen, but you know, I like to teach what I teach the boys. I'm a boy mom, two teenagers, and I have taught them both how to cook. All right, so we're gonna clean off the counters and then I'll wash my hands because we always like to start with kitchen safety. That way if we mess up and anything gets on the counter, we don't feel as bad about our kitchen snacks. Hello everyone coming in, I see you. Hello Almond Eyes, hello 10 Plus. Sheila's here, you're a diabetic. Okay, so let me make sure I'm clear with you all. Since I'm making these cupcakes as a gift, I am going to be using real butter, real flour, and real sugar. However, when we get to a stopping point, I will definitely show you some of the substitutes, okay? So let's let this air off, wash my hands, and I'll get my uniform on. Thank you all for being here. All 
If you are diabetic or pre-diabetic and you think you can't enjoy sweets, I may surprise you. I used to be pre-diabetic, I used to have elevated cholesterol, and I used to have borderline blood pressure, and all of that is normal now because I've completely changed the way I eat, drink, and snack. So about 80 to 90% of the time, that's what you're going to find on my channel. Um, but I do cook for others, so today's a full flavor day. All right, so let's get our... Uh, uniform on and I will show you all the video and the recipe. I also printed it out. Thank you for the hearts and thank you for the love. Now, I know red velvet is, how do we say, people are very partial about all their food. It's very subjective. And I did see the Waldorf Astoria original recipe. I think the history, you all, it might have come from like a variation on devil's food cake, which is chocolate. So a proper red velvet cake has cocoa powder. So I do have cocoa powder. Um, it's not just a cake with red food coloring. And what I learned is that the original red velvet cake did not have food coloring. It was kind of that red tint from the cocoa. We are going to use some food coloring today and I saw the comment at the very top drummer bookworm so I'm not doing the Waldorf Astoria version but the ermine or is it ermine frosting I read about that I'm not making that today so sorry to disappoint you I am doing a cream cheese frosting okay but I did read that there was another frosting that is more authentic so whether you like the Waldorf Astoria red velvet or the one from the south I'm going to do my best so the recipe that I found is from let me see a classic red velvet cake I always love to give you all the original recipe credit and you can see here this comes from the sugar geek show all right so we'll have this here and i will follow along plus i printed it out all right let me get my uniform on and we are going to get started hello lorraine hello elaine hello mary hello everyone all right so let us get together i have to be honest with you all i'm a little bit nervous but it's okay Either I'm brave enough or dumb enough to do this with all of you all. I am more of a cooker than I am a baker. For me, cooking is fun. Cooking, you can experiment. Uh, cooking, you can kind of taste as you go. Um, baking for me is different. It requires precision and it requires attention. Okay, so I'm going to try and do my best, especially since we're making this for Brandon L. Jet. Hello, Mary. Hello, Faye. Almond Eye says, thank you for the education. I get tired of explaining to folks red velvet has cocoa powder. Okay, you prefer oil over butter based. Okay, so I am just going to play the video so you all can kind of see where I'm getting my inspiration from. The link is also in the description but I did print out the recipe and we're gonna follow it step by step. Hello, Jay Scott. Hello, everyone. All right, so I printed it out and I'm proud of myself. If you all are new to me, usually I just literally get everything out as we need it from the cabinet and from the fridge, I'm walking around. So my streams are usually an hour or two, okay? So feel free to multitask. Feel free to watch without listening. Feel free to listen without watching. I'm just glad that you are here. Sabrina says, we got this. All right, shout out to Team Greedy. Okay, everyone. So let's see what we have here. Um, and should I get all the ingredients out so you all can see? Let's just go ahead and get started. Okay. Hello, Instagram. Hello, TikTok. Those of you all on Instagram and TikTok, if you want to see the full side by side, you can come to MaggieTheSubstituteTeacher.com. You can find me on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, or Twitter. Or today, we are multi streaming on Cooking with Aisha's page, her Facebook, and her uh, YouTube. Okay. So first step, this is preheat your oven to 335 and prepare the cake pans. Now, this recipe is for red velvet cake, but you all voted on my YouTube community tab, so we're going to be doing cupcakes. I hope that's okay. Meaning, we're gonna follow a cake recipe, but instead of a cake pan, I actually have 
a couple of these trays, okay? So I'm not going to like grease or flour the pan. So I have a baking sheet, kind of like a cookie sheet. And then I have these little tin foil um, cups. And then I got some jumbo uh, cupcake cups to go in there, okay? So I'm not going to oil them. I'm not going to dust them because um, literally I just want to go ahead and ship these. And once they're in the oven, we'll go over some ideas to get them to Brandon safely. <laughs> Marie Marie, thank you. <sighs> Christina says, relax, breathe, take my time. Thank you. All right, everyone. Okay. Preheat the oven to 335. So let me do that. First, I'm going to make sure it's empty. Those of you that are my regulars know, I'm not even going to lie. Y'all know I use the oven as storage for all of our good pots. Okay, the kids get the other stuff. So I move everything out of the oven and put it on the kitchen table. Okay, so we're going to preheat our oven. Make sure it's empty first because I know I'm not the only one who uses it at storage. Hello, Judith. Okay, so this is 335. If you notice on the video, it says a different temperature, but okay. Let's keep going. All right, so step number two, combine the eggs, vegetable oil, buttermilk, vinegar, butter, vanilla, and red food coloring in a medium bowl and set it aside. Okay, so let's get a medium bowl. Hopefully this will work. All right. And just because I don't want it to make too much noise on the granite countertops, I'm just going to put it underneath a towel, one of our beautiful <laughs> souvenir towels, just so it's not too noisy. Okay. Hopefully this size is okay. Hello, Randy. Yolanda says, you've done that too. I suddenly feel better. I'm not the only one who uses the oven for storage. Sabrina does it too. Okay, good. You all are all my people. Okay, combine the eggs. Now, the how many eggs? It said two large eggs, room temperature. So I'm so proud of myself. I took the eggs out and I've been letting them sit. Now, it's actually going to be like a proper cooking class today. Why room temperature? Whenever you're cooking your proteins, your milk, your meat, your eggs, your butter, the closer you can let it get to room temperature, number one, the easier it is to combine. And then with your meats, you don't wanna go from refrigerator cold to a hot pan because the meat will seize up and it will be tough. So you wanna try and let it get to room temperature. So go ahead and set it out. Hello, Beverly, hello. I always get it wrong, is it Shantia? All right, let's put our eggs in. All right. All right, notice how that cracks and uh, comes out so easily. So two eggs. All right. So we have our eggs. Next, it says vegetable oil. So I am using vegetable oil per the recipe. So I have regular vegetable oil here. Let me make sure y'all can see on TikTok and Instagram. All right, vegetable oil. And this recipe is in the description, okay? Four ounces. So I'm going to go ahead and put the vegetable oil in with the eggs. Oh, we've got this. <laughs> you use it for storage. Oh my gosh, I feel so much better, y'all. Okay, so we got that. Vegetable oil and two eggs. Buttermilk, okay? Now the buttermilk, it also said eight ounces of buttermilk at room temperature. So I bought buttermilk and I poured it out and I let it sit. And I believe buttermilk is milk that's been treated with vinegar. So it kind of curdles a little bit or something like that. One of y'all know I'm not a professional. So we're gonna go ahead and put in this thick and creamy buttermilk. And let me get a spatula just to make sure I get it all up. We are team greedy, we don't wanna waste. So if you all actually look at the recipe, I took time to 
measure everything on the scale for even more precision. So yes, you can use measuring cups and measuring spoons, but I have heard that the weight is more precise. So I actually got my kitchen scale out and weighed everything before the stream so it would be good to go. All right, so eggs, oil, and buttermilk. All right. All right. Mom taught me to clean as I go. All right, eggs, oil, buttermilk, vinegar. All right. I'm gonna smell it, y'all. Make sure this is the vinegar and not the vanilla. I have messed up many things before. Okay, and another little unsolicited etiquette tip. I don't like to put my face in something if I'm smelling it. Just kind of bring it close to you and use your hands to kind of get a whiff of it. A little unsolicited tip. So the recipe calls for white vinegar. I had sweet white vinegar, so that's gonna go in here. And I'll use the spatula again to get it all out. All right. Butter. Oh, shucks. Here we go. The first struggle ensues. Now it says six ounces of unsalted butter melted, but not hot. Okay. So I should have melted it, but it's okay. So this is six ounces. One of the long sticks is four ounces, and then I did two ounces more. So I'm going to put this in the microwave so I can melt it. Hopefully not get it too hot. I may have to stir a little bit. I should have done that ahead of time. All right. But then I thought about, should I go ahead and melt it? But then would it be kind of sitting here and get kind of thick? It's a whole thing. So I'm just going to put a paper towel over this and put it in the microwave, maybe like 30 seconds. Okay, <laughs> let's move on. You love red velvet cake? Oh, you guys are so supportive. I'm a little nervous. This is my first time. I don't really bake at all, but it's okay. We're going to do it. So we're getting the butter and then vanilla. So I have some vanilla. Ah, oh, yes, you can definitely tell. So we're going to go ahead and put that in there. Some vanilla and then the red food coloring. Okay, let's check on our butter. Oh, not bad. All right, so we got a little hot, but not too, too steaming hot. I'm just gonna put a chopstick in there just to break up any pieces and we'll let it set for a second and then pour it in and stir it up, okay? Actually, let me use a whisk. We're on Miss Aisha's channel today, so I'll use a proper little mini whisk. I like using the chopsticks because it's kind of like a wooden spoon and the wood, um, I don't know, it's just not as noisy. All right, so I'm just gonna come in, come in here with the melted butter. Okay, good, I'm not even feeling any lumps. So, and when I put my hand on the outside, it's slightly warm, but not hot. So we'll add that in and then stir. But the last thing is the red food coloring. Okay, so the red food coloring, it says one tablespoon of red food coloring and she prefers the gel food coloring. So I do have that, yes. Oh, thank you all so much, I appreciate it. Hello everyone, thank you all so much. Okay. So this is the food coloring that I have. It's in a squeeze tube, it came in a multi-pack and we need one tablespoon. Right. All right, so we have our one tablespoon measure. I didn't take this one out because I'm squeezing right out of the tube. But let's go ahead and add this in and then we'll put the butter in and it says stir and set aside. So. Whew. Basically for this recipe, just like any other recipe, we're gonna do dry ingredients. Okay, our oven is ready. We're going to do dry ingredients separate, wet ingredients together, and then combine, all right? So I'm just going in with a whole tablespoon. 
Yeah, it says one tablespoon of red food coloring. So y'all can tell it's a lot to me, but I'm following the recipe. Anytime I do a new recipe, which this is new for me, I always do it their way the first time and then I may doctor it up. All right, well, I'm gonna have to squeeze hard. Y'all know how you do like with the toothpaste. I know I'm not the only one. Hold up! We need all of it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Y'all know what I'm doing. Don't act. Okay, I think we got it all. Oh. Aisha says, are we neighbors? I'm in the Atlanta area. Maybe we are. Okay. So we have our red food coloring. So let's see, I'll get a spoon so I get all of it out. I'm gonna put it in here and then add the butter and then we're gonna stir it up. Stir it up, little darling, stir it up. All right, so we got that and then the butter. Melted but not hot. So these are all of our wet ingredients for the cake. <laughs> You're in Dallas. Maybe we have the same home builder, who knows? Okay, so let's get fancy. And stir this up. So hopefully I did it right. All right, so for anyone who just hopped in, these are our wet in Wet ingredients, oops, eggs, vegetable oil, buttermilk, vinegar, melted butter, vanilla, and red food coloring gel. All right. Trying to get it to kind of combine. All right some reason. No, this wasn't from all recipes, sweetheart. I put it in the, um, what's it called? In the description, sugar geek show, real red velvet cake from scratch. All right. So that is this recipe. If you all have a recipe, I would love to know how yours is different. Okay. I'm just going to put all this in here and it says set it aside. Uh oh. <laughs> So it's not completely red. I feel like I need to get it in a bigger bowl and maybe mix it like a little bit more, but I'm gonna set it aside for now. Let's move on to the dry and then I'll give it another little stir. Not looking like hers yet. Okay, I'm running out of space. All right, I'll just set it here. Okay, now, we're ready for the dry ingredients. So we're gonna get our new kitchen toy, y'all. We got a stand mixer gifted to us class. I'm very excited and very grateful. Okay. So let me just clean up and then let's get our stand mixer. So you, oh, I'll move it. Oh, you're welcome, my dear. Okay. Let me see if I keep this here so you all can see. Hello, hello, Gerald. <laughs> Thank you for the compliment. Okay, stand mixer. So we have a KitchenAid brand new stand mixer. Okay, good, y'all can see. All right, I'll plug it up in just a minute. Now, let me open this and I'm just going to wipe out the bowl. Using it for the first time, you know how Stuff comes packaged. All right, just gonna give this a good little wipe. We're gonna put our dry ingredients in here. Ah, hello everyone. Okay, and then I'm also going to take the paddle mixer off. It says for this recipe, we're gonna need the paddle mixer, which is this one. It's metal, but it's got a little, I guess like silicone edge to scrape. So we're gonna use this for the cake batter. And when it's time for the frosting, we are going to use the whisk, okay? So we're starting with the paddle. Again, I feel so fancy. We got real stuff, y'all. 
Was the KitchenAid super expensive? I'm sure it was. I don't know. It was a gift. Um, for those of you all who don't know, on my channel, um, and I've seen this on other channels too, those of you all that may be interested in starting your own cooking channel, sometimes you have supporters that want to support in different ways, and I appreciate all of it. Um, I have an Amazon wish list, and someone from my community asked me, what what would I want for my kitchen? And if I could dream of anything. And I said, well, these KitchenAid mixers always look so fancy. And it showed up at my doorstep. So again, thank you so much, Brandon. Okay, so we've got our bowl here. Hey, Tanya. Good evening, Pat. Okay, now we're on to step number three. Combine flour, sugar, cocoa powder, salt, and baking soda in the bowl of your stand mixer with the paddle attachment. Stand mixer, paddle attachment, bowl. I'm really that slow, y'all. Okay. One thing at a time, flour. Okay, so I am using regular all-purpose flour. This is not a gluten-free recipe because obviously this comes from wheat. <clears throat> Usually if I'm doing baking, <coughs> I'm using almond flour, coconut flour. Hello, Mercedes. Um, yeah, I'm making red velvet cake. Um, but this is for someone else. So we're using regular flour, okay? So we have our flour, sugar. Now this is regular sugar, y'all. And when we get to a stopping point, I will show you my substitutes. Thank you for the love. But this is real granulated, like, Sugar, sugar. All right, so let's put that in all the dry ingredients. All right, Whew, putting that in. Um, cocoa powder. So this is one of the keys of a real red velvet cake. So I have cocoa powder. This is unsweetened cocoa powder. All right, so this is gonna go in. All right, oh, we're at the same place. Flour, sugar, Cocoa powder. What's next? I'm slow, y'all. Okay. <laughs> See how fast they move? Okay, she got her KitchenAid too. All right. Salt. How much salt? Because there's salt in the one teaspoon of salt. I have two portions of salt. I think the bigger one is the teaspoon. Hold up. Because one goes in the frosting. I want to make sure I get it right. Yes. A teaspoon of salt, so that's going in. This one's for the frosting. All right. And baking soda, not baking powder, baking soda. So we have our baking soda. All right. Mix on low speed for a few seconds to combine. All right, y'all. I've been waiting for this moment. I know I'm lame. I have been waiting to turn on my stand mixer. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't fly everywhere. All right, so we're gonna put this in here and put the bowl in. We're gonna lower this down. All right, we're gonna lock it. We're gonna plug it up. And we're going to go from zero to one. The teaspoon is the smallest portion. Eh, I don't know. The frosting has a quarter teaspoon. So let's go and see what happens. It's mixing. I feel so fancy. Y'all look at it. Okay, focus, Maggie. Okay. Oh, for a few seconds. See, I get excited. <laughs> Hello before the billions. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. Add the liquid ingredients to the dry and mix on medium speed until the batter is fully incorporated and smooth. Okay. Sorry for the dance break. So now we have our liquid ingredients. I'm just going to take the let me see, just take the measuring spoon out. Try and get all of that 
and then move the iPad for a second and take out the spoon. All right. So we're going to add our wet to our dry. I'm nervous, y'all. I'm going to read it one more time. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mixing. <laughs> My dance break. Hello, Prisca. Hello, everyone. Thank you all for the likes and the loves. Okay. Add step four. Add the liquid ingredients to the dry and mix on medium speed until the batter is fully incorporated and smooth. About one minute. All right, y'all. And then I'll come to the chat. All right. Here we go. Um, guess I'll just pour. Ah, all right. And then I'm going to start slow. Let's move the iPad. All right, medium. Okay, step it up. Okay, one more. Okay, it says about a minute, right? I'll just pour the last little bit of liquid in there. All right, I'm gonna rinse this stuff off. Our cake batter is looking kind of good. It's exciting. I know. I'm so excited. I know. I know. I know. Okay. Rinse this off and then we're coming back. I want to get this red food coloring out before it messes up everything. I don't want to overdo it, so let's. <laughs> Y'all are having fun? Okay, focus, Maggie. Now, looks like cake batter to me. All right, let's see what happens next. Now, she's pouring hers. Now, see, hers says bake at 350. I'm going to go up to 350. The recipe said 325. What do y'all want to do? 350 or 335? I feel like 350. Let's turn on the light. Turn on the lights. Where's the light? I got a new oven. Light. Okay. Let's do bake at 350. Okay. All right. So now, um, what do we do now? 325? <laughs> 350? The batter looks good. Thank you. Okay, so let's unplug it so we don't have an accident. Oh, you love the paddle? Yes, absolutely. We're making red velvet cake. Okay, focus. Divide step number five. Looks good. We are professionals. We figure it out, y'all. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're making cake together. Cupcakes. Step number five, divide the cake batter evenly between the cake pans, okay? So she's doing cake. I'm doing cupcakes. So let's... Ooh, ah, oh, y'all look, it's all ribbony. It looks like cake batter, doesn't it? I should taste it, but it's got raw eggs, right? Okay, so let's get our cupcake pans. All right, so again, just a tray with foil and with uh, paper. I don't think you have to spray these, right? Y'all, I'm not a baker, I'm a cooker. Okay, um, so, hmm, I guess I take this off, right? Or we'll scrape it. <laughs> oh no. All right, y'all know we're team greedy. We, we don't wanna waste any of this uh, red velvet batter, but I don't want it in my way. So I'm just scraping this out. Okay, it's unplugged, because knowing me, I would mess it up. All right, so, all right. 
the color is there now as usual. Okay. All right. So let's take out the paddle and uh, I guess I'll just rinse it off. All right, we'll, we'll worry about that in a moment. I want to get these cooking, and then I'm going to come to the chat and do attendance and all that stuff. Okay. So, uh, we have our batter here. I think it looks good. <laughs> Rodney says red velvet, red lipstick, red dress. Do I see a trend here? Well, this is what Brandon wanted. And what the men want, the, the men get, right? So let me figure this out. All right. So I'm just going to scrape down the sides. Y'all know we're greedy here. I got a little bit on the side. So I just want to scrape that down. All right. And then since I'm doing cupcakes, I can't pour, I guess, what should I do? Like a ladle? Let's see if we do a ladle. Is that too much? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pour it over the bowl. That's way too much, right? All right. So we'll try and go about halfway. All right. And so I am bringing the cupcake let me move this, y'all. Got too much going on. I'm moving the cupcake liners to the bowl instead of moving the ladle to the liner so I don't make a huge mess. All right. Ice cream scoop. She says, but I want to ship him cupcakes, so I'm just using this for stability. I got the jumbo size. Ice cream scoop. Ice cream scoop. All right, we'll give that a try. <laughs> Great idea. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> this is what we have. So now we're going to do the fun and repetitive tasks. How many cupcakes does this make? I don't know. This recipe is a cake recipe, but you all voted for cupcakes. So hopefully this will work. I have some ideas. Oh, tablespoon, ice cream scoops. Okay, this is going to make 24. All right, let's see. Let's get the, <laughs> the soup ladle out of here. All right, sorry, y'all. If you're proper chefs, I am not. I am just trying to make a red velvet Welcome to my struggle cooking class. Usually it comes together, okay? All right, so we're going with the ice cream scoop or I did see the regular tablespoon scoop. So we're filling these about halfway to two thirds because you do wanna give them room to rise. Okay, <laughs> should be about 24, good. So y'all put your, um, put your, uh, your votes in on how many you think this will make. So I'm very excited. Okay, so again, for anyone who just hopped in here, this KitchenAid stand mixer was a gift from a subscriber who asked me what I wanted and <laughs> careful what you wish for. So I said, I'll make the first recipe for Brandon. I'm in Atlanta. Brandon is in San Diego. So the goal is to cook these and I have some ideas for decoration. Of course, it'd be easy if I was just serving them. However, we have to ship them and I'm going to overnight these to San Diego tomorrow so that Brandon can have the first item that came off of our KitchenAid mixer. After that, what do y'all want to make? Pasta and cookies and all kinds of stuff. So, you know, your regular cupcake has the frosting and we're going to make frosting too on top, but I'm thinking about doing a stuffed cupcake so that the frosting is inside and so I can pack and ship them. 
Oh, I just got a cash app. Thank you, Rodney. It's up here. I'm going to get to a stopping point and then put you on the board. You are the stream sponsor at $10. The stream sponsor is the person who gives the biggest cash app, PayPal, Venmo, Facebook stars, Instagram gifts, Twitter tips, gold doubloons. Y'all just being here supports me. But uh, when you go above and beyond, I definitely appreciate it. So thank you. All right. So we have our first tray. This is four plus three. So this is 12 so far. And I could put them in the oven. But what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to get the next tray and uh, just see how close we are if I need to top off any of them. Okay, so we are going to bake these, but let me switch it up and go to the next one. See how many we can get. Sheila wants diabetic meals. Yeah, so for this recipe, you could probably do like an almond flour, red velvet, and I've got lots of sugar substitutes. I will show you when we get to a stopping point. But for sugar substitutes, y'all, there are some that are like natural, like stevia and monk fruit. Those come from plants. Um, I call them sugar-free sugars. And then there are some that are um, laboratory made, like Equal and Splenda. All of them are still zero calorie. Let me move this so y'all can see what we're making. <sighs> um, that way you can satisfy your sweet tooth without spiking your um, blood sugar. Yes, I was thinking the same thing. So Richard says, make a buttercream and pipe inside. So we are going to do a cream cheese frosting, I know, okay? So for my traditional red velvet people, it's supposed to be something, what do they call it? Ermine or ermine? This is my first attempt, y'all. So that's what I was thinking. I saw a recipe on how to stuff cupcakes. So what we're going to do is we're going to bake them and we're going to punch a hole in the inside. Think of it like a cream filled donut. So excited. Is it going to work? I don't know, but we're going to try it together. Okay. And then I have some letters. I think Marie Marie said to spell his name in letters. So I bought some letters. However, I'm missing one. His name is Brandon and I only have one N. So maybe he'll be Brando. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Focus, Maggie. Okay. Okay, two more. At least two more. So today, y'all know his name is Brandon. Okay, but for, for this, he might be Brando. And we'll put a letter. Count. How many letters is Brandon? <laughs> Do I have enough cupcakes? Brandon L jet and then the frosting will be inside and then i'll put the little uh letter on the um outside that is my plan so that they can ship well and when he bites into them he has a fresh homemade cupcake red velvet is his favorite so that's what we're making um okay focus so i've got a few that are low brandon l <laughs> Look, I'm doing the best that I can, okay? I had to get like buttermilk. Y'all know I don't keep buttermilk. I had to get real sugar, real butter, all this stuff. I placed a grocery order just for this. I'm sweating trying to make sure this cake is right. His name is Brando tonight, okay? Cut the M or W and make it an N. All right, class. All right, so I'm going to try and scrape this and see if we can top off the rest of our cupcakes. I think we did pretty good. Let me get my spatula. This is a lot, okay? So Brandon, just know that we love you, but today you might be a Brando. <laughs> just use the letter U for an N. Oh, upside down. But then you'd have some in uppercase. So see, my OCD is already, these are the things I stress out about y'all. I really try, oh, you can smell the chocolate. You can smell the, even though it looks red when I scrape the pan, you can smell that cocoa powder. Oh. All right, 
So I'm going to try and top off Don't want it to get on the pan. Y'all know we're team greedy. Ingredients are expensive. So we want to use it up until you use me up. You just keep on scraping me. Until you use me up. Okay, focus, Maggie. Let's get this in here. I enjoy. Okay, almost done. I think one more and we should be good, right? This one looks, that, that one looks kind of low. All right. All right. All right. All right. Whew. All right. So now we are finally going to put our cupcakes in the oven at 350 all right and i think it says for like 30 minutes or something like that we'll put the timer on all right class we did great all right we did it now we have two trays of cupcakes b-r-a-n-d-o-n -N -N. look okay Step five says divide it evenly between cake pans. We're not doing cake pans. Um, step six, bake the cakes for 35 to 40 minutes until the toothpick comes out clear. Okay, so I'm gonna set the timer for 30 minutes since I'm doing cupcakes and we'll check it. All right, so let's get these in. I'm gonna put them in the middle. I even got my little thermometer there. It says 350. So we have a tray of 12. So you all can see red velvet cupcakes. Oh, usually 18 to 24 minutes for cupcakes. Thank you. Okay. This is why I need y'all. Okay. So y'all can see our trays are going in. So we're going to put one here. Will I be able to close that? I don't know. Let's see. And then the other one. All right. You wouldn't do 350? Turn it down to 335? Okay. Let's see if this will close. All right, I think y'all can see. Okay. 335, we'll go back down to 335. That's what the, see, this is confusing. The video says 350, but if I'm following the recipe, it does say preheat oven to 335. So I'll take it down. Bake. Okay, and I think I pressed convection bake. Y'all, I hope I don't mess it up. So we did get a cash app from Rodney. I can finally come up for air for just a minute. Thank you so much, Rodney, for the super chat. I'm sorry, the cash app. He sends $10. He says, for vote for Miss Maggie, Team Greedy. All right, so if y'all don't know what Rodney is talking about, I am in a cooking competition called Favorite Chef. I will put the other QR code here so you all can see. Let me get branded up on the struggle stream microwave and then I'll tell you all about it. I'll see if we can take attendance and then we'll move to the frosting because I'm falling apart. Okay, um, Rodney. $10, thank you so much, Rodney. Okay. So Rodney is a stream sponsor at $10. So in all seriousness, thank you all so much. We got a little bit of, oh, how much time? What did y'all say? Check it after 18 minutes. All right, let's put a timer because you know how I am. Timer, 18. Okay, I will get distracted. So I am in a cooking competition called Favorite Chef. It is hosted by Carla Hall from the Food Network. Thank you all for the likes, the hearts, and the love. Um, the grand prize is $25,000, which I will use to make a studio kitchen. This is my home. Welcome to my home. But I would love to have a kitchen that's dedicated to my cooking channel uh, so the kids and everybody else doesn't come in here. But it's totally fine. Um, so the winner gets $25,000. 
a two page magazine spread, lots of publicity. But what I'm really loving is as part of this competition, oh, I have some batter left over. Um, as part of this competition, um, I get different, I get access to different workshops so I can learn about my craft. Okay, so we have actual chefs who have come in and talked about how to start a catering business. I don't want to do that. Um, how to do plating really well, because we all eat with our eyes first. Love that workshop. And then the latest one was how to take really good pictures and video of your food for social media. So I'm learning a lot. You're never a master of your craft. So I am asking you all to vote for me. It is free. The link is in the description. I'll also put it here. Oh, there it is. And the... Um, favorite chef. The competition runs from June until August. So every week they do an elimination. So they went from the big group to the top 20. Now we're in the top 15 and tomorrow is the cut for the top 10. So I humbly ask for you all to vote for me. You can vote free every 24 hours. All right. So let's see if we can take attendance. I'm just going to rinse the, um, because we're going to have to bake them and then cool them. So I'm just going to rinse all this um, batter off and then we'll see who we have in the chat. And I'll say hello to everyone. The name of my cooking channel is Maggie the Substitute Teacher. So yes, Maggie the Substitute Teacher is me. And thank you all so much. Okay, so it's doing its thing. I turned the temperature down on the oven. All right, let me just rinse this off, y'all. Um, my former mother-in-law said, wipe now, scrub later. All right, so if we have an opportunity to clean, let's clean it now, and then I'll take the chat. Attendance. Y'all, this cake batter is something serious. Have some extra batter in there, but it's okay. <gasps> who is here? Look who we have here. Okay, Brandon, I have a confession. Everybody put BLJ in the chat. This is none other than Brandon LJ. I met him in San Diego at, a, at an event, and he was so kind to ask me, is there anything you want for your cooking channel? I was like, well, not really. He said, if you could have anything, what would it be? And I said, I think those KitchenAid stand mixers kind of look professional. And it showed up at my door. So that is why Brandon is getting the first item. We've made the batter. Now we're going to make the frosting. All right. But let's see who we have here. Oh, Brandon, I ordered letters. Marie Marie wanted me to spell your name on the cupcakes. However, we have a problem, Houston. There's only one N. So if you don't mind you're gonna be Brando. <laughs> All right, who do we have on uh, TikTok? We have a uh, user, we have Arian, we have Perry. Hey, Jude, Trevor, Philly, thank you for the compliment. We have Just Tinking, we have Janie, we have Crystal, Mercedes. Mercedes, you're in Atlanta. Hello, neighbor. Hello, Gerald, Malik, Renee, Pepe, Amaya, Winnie, Sheila. Oh, 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 Sheila. Okay, I had to get that out. Uh, Derek and D. Lacey. Thank you all so much for being here. Shout out to Brando. Look, this is a lot, all right? It's going to be okay. Thank you, TikTok. Who all do we have here on Instagram? Let's take attendance. Who is in class? Oh, my goodness. I got to come closer. Hello, Richard Dollar. Uh, Otis, Jose, uh, Richard again, happy to see you. Mark Ziki, hello. Caroline, hello. Addicted, Treme, Amax, and Alexander, Fred, Jabu, Katie, all about the Benjamins, BC, hello, Auntie Jenny, hello, Nuff, hello, Wristworks, Ooh, Aliyah, sweet, maker official, Iden. 
um, Game, Hussein, Self Made. Man, y'all are a lot. Akay, Rory, Lucy, Lejean. Okay, I'm gonna take a minute off of Instagram. We got a lot. Let's see who we have here. Brando L. Jet is 11 letters. That's as far as it let me get, is it? That's as far back as it lets me scroll. Hello, Christina, Marie Marie. We got Kia G in the house. Red Velvet is your favorite. D. Dawson lives in Miami. You want me to send you one? Absolutely. So we're gonna make sure we can spell Brandon's name. I will keep one to taste. Christina has asked for one and D has asked for one. So yes, inbox me your shipping address. You'll get a cupcake. As long as we have enough to spell Brando. Uh, we got Sheila. Did it make 24? I don't know, y'all. Did we count? I don't know how many are in there. Hold up, I'll count. One, two, 20. It made 20. I probably could have scraped 21, but I've rinsed it, so it made 20. <laughs> Richard said, spell it Southern. Your name tonight is Bran. Like Brandon without all the other letters. I think I have everything except for two N's, y'all. Stir it up. Absolutely, Christina. Yes, the KitchenAid mixer is beautiful. This is a gift from none other than Brandon Eljet. So fancy, the Artisan series, y'all. It is beautiful. Uh, bake at 325 so it's not dry. Okay, we got it at 335, and we'll check it in a few minutes. So thank y'all for the tip. 18 to 24 minutes for cupcakes. Uh-huh, I took it down to 335. Um, Marie Marie says, if I don't use the candy letters, can I make more frosting and pipe the letters? Oh, see, I thought about spelling his name with the frosting, but number one, I'm not good at it. Y'all have already told me I'm not artistic. I cannot draw. Remember the snowman cookies that y'all told me look like Halloween cookies. I'm still a little bit hurt but life goes on, all right? So that's why I bought actual letters for Brandon. So there's no confusion in my lack of artistic ability, okay? Rodney says the size of the cupcakes versus a full cake should be accounted for. You mean with the temperature or the time? Oh, Sharon wants to send a friend. Yeah, absolutely, send a friend request, no problem. Um, my name is Margaret Brown. Maggie is my childhood nickname, absolutely. Hello, just another Mark. It's so good to see you. He's here for cake. Uh, Living Out Loud says good evening. Absolutely, yeah, it just took me a while to come to the uh, uh, comments. Wannabe says, where's the link? Where is the link for what, my dear? Remind me. Christina says, I hope you win. Oh, if you're talking about for the competition, it's along the bottom. Hopefully my moderators can put the link in the chat as well. It's also in the description of the video. And if you hover your phone over this QR code, it'll take you directly to where you can vote for me for free. All right. So, so people can see what, uh, what today's struggle session is. All right. Let's see, what else do we have? Ah, okay, D, okay, Maggie the substitute teacher, and I'm Maggie the substitute teacher on all platforms, all right? So that is me, Maggie the substitute teacher, because usually I cook sugar-free, dairy-free, and gluten-free substitutes, y'all. I tried to pull it back, we're struggling today. It'll be all right. Linda says, good luck, thank you, my dear. Cupcakes look good, thank you, Maisie. No, Brandon, you're never too late. Never too late, never too late. Oh, it's never too much, right? Oops, sorry. I meant to say never too much. Okay. I just make it up as I go. If you're new here, I do have musical outbursts. It happens. It's not gonna stop. Okay, focus. Um, okay, let me know which link you need, sweetheart. Marie Marie says about the cupcakes are in the middle of baking. So Brando, your cupcakes are looking good. I don't know if y'all can see, they're starting to rise. You lift me up so I can make your cupcakes. You lift me up so we can ship to you. I don't even know if that's the song. Okay, BLJ, how did I like the KitchenAid? Loved it. 
So we're gonna go back now because we need to make frosting. Okay, so we made the cake batter. That worked really well. Ah, oh, yes, everybody shouting out BLJ, BLJ in the chat. Ah, oh, yes, thank you so much. Hello, Demetrius. Oh, yes, thank you for the blessing. <laughs> Brandon says he'll take it. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the frosting, okay? I know I didn't get through everyone, but uh, I'll, I'll keep coming back to the comments. Okay, so cake is baking. We got seven minutes, actually six minutes, six minutes, six minutes. Dougie Fresh, you're on. I know, I can't help it. It's not gonna stop. Several of you all have talked to me offline. Maggie, please, with the outburst, really don't do that. And I say, okay, and then I do it again. <laughs> Focus, where are we? Cream cheese frosting. So again, we are doing a cream cheese frosting. We are gonna pipe these inside Brando's cupcakes, okay? Because I need to ship them to him. And what I bought y'all for Brando, I'm trying to be professional. So I ordered like these cupcake shipping packages and if I were just driving somewhere, then I could frost the top, but we're gonna put the frosting inside and seal them up in this and pack them really well and overnight them to Brando, okay? So, all right, Whew. that is the plan. Right. <laughs> hey, get me a KitchenAid mixer, you can get whatever you like. All right, focus, now. What are we doing? Cream cheese frosting. Okay, so we stopped here. We're baking the cakes. We're going to cool them and then we're going to ice them. All right, so cream cheese frosting. <laughs> hey, you're honored. I'm grateful because honestly, Brandon, you did not have to do this. And y'all, on my Amazon wish list, I have stuff that's in the like $10, $20 range. I don't know how much this KitchenAid mixer is. I don't want to know, but I am just extremely grateful. He bought this for us so we can act like we know what we're doing. So yes, we're making him red velvet cupcakes. Y'all voted, so that's what we're doing. Okay. Oh, it says play, step one, place the softened butter, place the softened butter in the bowl of your stand mixer with the paddle attachment. Okay, hold up. So let's get this. Where's the paddle? <laughs> I'm not in trouble. Let's get the paddle. All right, let me rinse it off again. Okay. So again, we have the paddle attachment. This came with Brando's. I won't mess up your name after today. Uh, so this came with Brando's mixer. So it's a metal piece and it's got the little silicone here to scrape the sides. So we've got our paddle attachment. I do need to clean the bowl. One second, y'all. Um, Cause we want our frosting to be white. So we have that contrast. So I'm gonna give this a good little wash cause I need to use this again. Okay, so talk amongst yourselves. I'll be right here washing dishes. Somebody asked how much the mixer costs. I'm not asking. Yeah. I think the actual question was, was it expensive? But to me, it doesn't matter. I'm just grateful. Okay. So rinsing, rinsing, rinsing. Day and night. All right, we wanna get all this red food coloring and this cocoa powder out of the bowl. Only because this is a teachable moment. And you all know I'm a student of etiquette. Honestly, to me, it doesn't matter, but if someone gives you a gift, it is, um, better to just accept it graciously. Okay, Woo! hot water. All right, so let's give this a good dry. All right, um, I don't have a towel. Where did I put 
Oh, it's underneath the ingredients. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not in trouble. Uh, Marie Marie says, if you drove over the road, Marie Marie is one of our truckers in the community. She said you'd hand deliver the cupcakes in the big rig for Brando. Okay, so Marie Marie or anybody who's ever going from Atlanta to San Diego, but would the cook, would the cupcakes stay intact? Hmm. <laughs> this is ladies night and I'm feeling right. And this is ladies night. Oh, what a night. Oh, what a night. Okay. I don't have a low voice and I'm not supposed to. So that's all I got. All right. So we're just drying this up because we're going to do our cream cheese frosting. Okay. So I want to make sure it's squeaky clean, but um, I will show you all the box so you all can do your own investigation one moment <clears throat> so we did the unboxing yesterday plus a lot of other stuff so this is what arrived it is the KitchenAid artisan mini all right so this is the mixer that Brandon sent us so class we have professional equipment. So I'm gonna try and act like I know what I'm doing. All right, so let's get this super dry. <laughs> Is Brando laughing at me? Look, okay, so we have our mixing bowl clean and dry. We have our paddle, I'm not in trouble, clean and dry. Let's get in here, make sure it's squeaky clean get up in them corners, corners, and get it clean. Okay, so let's put this back on here. All right, I already know what to do now. <laughs> All right, let's move our letters. I don't wanna mess these up. All right, Brando, we'll come to you in a moment. We got 20 seconds, y'all, hold up. Oh, 20 seconds, and we're gonna do the toothpick test, okay? So, one second on the frosting. <laughs> Actually, five minutes on the frosting. Let's get our grease um, oven mix. Timer's done. Just got our souvenirs from Greece. Let's get our cupcakes out. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Brando. Ooh, y'all, they look good and they smell chocolatey. I'm doing good. They look good. Check the cupcakes. Check the cupcakes. Okay, okay. They've risen up. All right. Oh, I'm going to get a toothpick. We're going to stick it in the middle. If it comes out dry, they're good. If it's still kind of moist, then they need to go back. All right. Hold up. Hold on, Brando. All right. So we have a toothpick. Let's go directly in the middle. It has a nice little crust on it. I had to like poke inside and pull it out. Uh-oh. Not good. Nope. I'm not even going to check anymore. They're going back. What? Five more minutes? Okay. They look good, though. All right. I wish y'all could smell them. Brandon, they smell great. All right. Going back in. Oh. What? Five minutes? Or turn the temperature up. Oh. All right. Timer. More time, more temperature. Yes, they look really good. Oh no, we got to get them squeaky clean. I mean, the toothpick has to come out clean. That's how you know that they're done. So I did five minutes. Seven minutes. Okay, no more temperature, just let them cook. All right. Timer, seven. All right, seven minutes. 
Okay. 350 for 20 minutes. Oh, God. All right. They're looking good. Y'all can y'all are on cupcake duty. They're looking good. Can't find me. Um, Maggie, the substitute teacher, you should be able to message me or try Instagram. Just more time. Okay, let's get our frosting going. So we have our bowl. It's got a nice little handle. And I love that this is stainless steel. You can put this in the fridge if you need to make whipped cream. Having the bowl already cold keeps it like stiffer, like for egg whites. All right. Excuse me. All right. What are we doing? I don't know. Neither do you. All right. Place the softened butter in the bowl of your stand mixer with the paddle attachment. So paddle attachment is on. Softened butter. How much softened butter? Eight ounces unsalted butter softened. Okay. So here's what I did. Y'all would be so proud of me. I never have stuff out prepared, but we're cooking with Miss Aisha. So I wanted to look like I know what I'm doing. Okay. So we have our Walmart unsalted butter. Okay. And I left it out. Y'all see how it just kind of presses easily. So that's softened, not melted, but softened. And each one of these you can see is four ounces. So that's why we have two. The recipe calls for eight. All right. So we got one of those. Y'all know we're greedy. I'm gonna scrape all of that in there. We don't wanna waste, we don't wanna uh, skimp on Brando. <laughs> okay, and then let's go with the other one. And the reason I prefer salted butter, especially like when cooking and stuff, but I wanted to do this recipe perfect or as close to perfect as I can. Maybe y'all know why we use unsalted for baking. Is it because we're gonna put salt in there? Probably. Okay. So we have eight ounces of softened butter. Okay, checking the time. Now what happens? I don't know, let's read. I never made this before. Okay. Ah, step number one, place the softened butter in the bowl of your stand mixer with the paddle attachment. Mix on low until it's smooth and lump free. So we're gonna cream this butter or churn it or something. Why am I doing this? I don't know. Okay, Brandon, Brando, Mr. Brando, I hope you're watching. All right, so let's lower this down. Let's plug it in. All right. So I don't know what smooth and lump free means, but we will figure it out. Y'all can see what we're doing here. All right, I'm gonna turn it on low. Okay, focus Maggie. It looks smooth and lump free to me. I guess I'll whip it a little more. Let me read ahead. Brando's watching. Okay. So we are creaming our butter or something. I don't know. What are we doing, y'all? It looks good. Let's turn it up one more. Okay. I think we're good. Let's do one step at a time. Okay. Mix until it is smooth and lump free. I think it looks smooth and lump free. <laughs> I'm glad y'all are having fun. I'm nervous because, you know, we got to get this right for Brando. Okay. Add in the softened cream cheese. Sounds very quiet. Oh, we could turn it up. Okay, hold up. Okay, Sheila says focus. 
add the cream cheese now. Yes, ma'am. Step two, add the softened cream cheese and combine on low, oops, on low until it's smooth and completely homogenous. This is a lot. Peaches and cream. Ah, okay. Cream cheese now. Here we go. Now, y'all know if it were me, I'd be doing my dairy-free substitutes, but this is real Philadelphia cream cheese. And just like the butter, I took it out and you can see how it's literally just soft, okay? So I'm going to, let me unplug it. I'm nervous, I'm gonna touch it and it's gonna fly away, right? Okay, let's add the cream cheese to the butter. So how much cream cheese? I measured everything. 12 ounces of cream cheese softened. So one block is eight. So then I did half of another block. Eight plus four is 12. Y'all are laughing at me. Uh, Marie Marie says unsalted butter gives away for the taste to be built upon. Okay. So let's add in our cream cheese. So fancy. All right. This is, oh, hold up. Should I or shouldn't I? You tell me, I'll put it on the napkin. Focus, Maggie. That's why we clean the counters first. Cause see y'all will talk about me. Okay, let's scrape this. 15 more seconds on cupcake, hold up. Exactly, all right. All right, we're gonna mix that together, but I need to do another tooth, tooth, I was about to say toothpaste test, toothpick. Okay, hold up. Okay, I got it, I got it. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, it smells like chocolate cake. Now, hello, Robin. Y'all are laughing at me. <laughs> oh, okay. Toothpaste test. We're going to go to the other side now. I'm going to get that one and we'll do a test and see if the toothpick comes out clear. Okay. Let's get safety first. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Red Velvet Cake Struggle Cooking Class. Okay. okay. Oh yeah. Oh, they smell so good. I wish y'all could smell them. They smell like chocolate. All right, so let's get a toothpick. I wanna say toothpaste, not toothpaste. Okay. So the goal is for me to put in a clear toothpick, go in and come out just as clear. Looking good? Okay. Sheila says leave in the oven to rest. Okay, let's go in there. All right, let's take it out. Dun, 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 done. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take them out because I actually want them to cool, okay? So I hear you, but now that they're done, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the oven and take them out. All right, oh. so we have two trays of cupcakes. Smell-o-vision, yes, y'all, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, yeah. Okay, all right. So Brando's cupcakes, oh, red velvet. So what I'm gonna do y'all, okay, one second. Let me close the oven, cause it's hot. Turn this off. <sighs> now I can put my pots and pans in there. Okay y'all, I'm gonna put these on a cooling rack. Um, I am going to, I have, kind of like this little low budget cooling rack. I wanna take them off the hot pan. Oh boy, yes, they're done, they're done. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, focus. So let's see here, and you use a cooling rack that way, we're gonna take them off of the hot pan, the air can get around them and underneath. Y'all are excited? Thank you, Robin. I don't see the comment, but I appreciate you, sweetheart. Okay, focus, Maggie. Let us, I'm gonna use a spatula. I know that's weird, but. Okay, that's not smart. Wait, can I touch them? Yeah, the pan is hot, but these are not. 
Okay. <laughs> One moment. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm just gonna put them over here so they can cool while we make our frosting and then they'll be off of the hot pan. FedEx is gonna love this delivery. Yes, uh, Brando, let me know what overnight service you prefer. FedEx, UPS, USPS, and I will send them your way. Okay. So they're looking good, y'all. Looking really good. And I love that they're red, but they're not like, I don't want to say that kind of red, but you know what I mean? They kind of look chocolate red as opposed to like, you know, like fake red. Y'all know what I mean. So this is an authentic recipe or as authentic as I found with cocoa powder, vinegar, real buttermilk. I'll show you all the ingredients in a moment. I'm just getting these all off and letting them cool. I almost want to take them out of the uh, foil. All right. But they will cool behind us. They're not too, too hot. You want UPS? Yes, sir. You got it. All right. Okay. Brando L. Jet is 11, right? So we'll make it 12. Do my letters have a period? No, no punctuation. Brando. Okay. So for the rest, let me just see here if I take it out. Yeah, I'm gonna take these out of the metal. Let's see. I'll just get a tray or another rack or something. Ay. All right. This is just another rack. I'm taking them out of the middle and just letting them cool on here. And then we will make our frosting and stuff them. Y'all, they look so good. I just want them to come. And yes, I will taste one for you. I think we have enough. can see we're gonna let them cool but see how nice and moist and <laughs> cakey they are all right I would eat it warm but all right let's let these cool I just took these out of the um tin foil okay looking delicious y'all they smell heavenly they smell like chocolate all right so we're gonna let our cupcakes chill here now back to the frosting Back to our regularly scheduled programming. All right, y'all. Where were we? Toothpick is done. Okay. Okay, we were on step two. Sheila says, do I have the bag to squeeze on the cupcake? Oh, yes. I actually got icing bag. So we're going to pipe the frosting inside. We're going to go inside the cupcake. Okay. <sighs> I'm not there yet. I still haven't made my cream cheese frosting. Step number two, add in the softened cream cheese and combine on low until smooth and completely homogenous. Scrape the bowl to make sure it's all incorporated. All right. So let's lower this down. We have butter and we have cream cheese real butter, real cream cheese. Okay. <laughs> yes, ma'am. All right. Let us go. Let's plug it up. Okay. And turn it on. I'm already ready. I'm warming up. Who does that? I don't know. Ooh, I'm not putting crumbled pecans on there now. Brando, you can let me know if you like nuts. This recipe, you actually take one of the cupcakes and kind of crumble it up, and that's what she uses as the garnish. But this is for one of my most generous, most generous subscribers and moderator on my channel. So supportive. Make sure we have 
a safe space. So we're gonna make whatever Brando wants. Okay, so it's on low, scrape the side. So y'all can see what's happening here. Let me get the spatula and scrape the side. So the whipped cream, I mean the buttercream. Yes, I have a spatula. Man, y'all are on it. Okay, spatula, scrape the bowl. Push it down in there. We wanna make sure we get everything. Team Greedy, activate. All right, so it's looking good. Okay, I think it looks good, y'all. How do I turn it off? My beater is a scraper. Okay. Brandon wants um, pecans inside. Okay. So Brando, you want crumbled pecans. You want them in the frosting. So you want them inside. Let me see what I have. I think I have walnuts. Let me see if I have pecans. almonds and I found walnuts. I didn't find pecans. So put a pin in that. I'm just trying to think how to do this because y'all for the regular red velvet, we would frost these on the top, just like she's doing. But remember I'm shipping these. So what's going to be on the top is his name mostly. Um, but I can definitely do some crushed nuts. Let me think about how to do it. Okay, focus. Okay, so we scrape the bowl. <laughs> he says he has no food. Brando is not sugar-free, dairy-free, or gluten-free. He said, give me everything. Okay, yes, sir. So step number three, add the powdered sugar one cup at a time, mixing on low to avoid throwing powdered sugar out of the bowl. That would never happen. Okay, now. powdered sugar, and I got real sugar. Notice it says 26 ounces. That's a lot, y'all. Powdered sugar sifted. So let me sift first. All right, you see this mountain in the back? <laughs> oh, did I not turn off the oven? Off. Oh, okay. My bowl is warm. What? Okay, so I weighed out the powdered sugar, real powdered sugar. Now I need to sift it. And we're going to sift it so that it's nice and fine and blends evenly and we don't have any lumps, okay? Whew. All right. Where's the sifter? Here's the sifter. So this is what I'm going to do. All right. Let me move Brando's letters. All right. I see some salt over there just making sure. Okay. Vanilla and salt is coming. All right. So let's move our spatula. Cupcakes are cooling. All right, I'm gonna move the iPad for just a second. All right, so I have a bowl. Add a little at a time and mix well, yeah. So I wanna make sure we have a very nice, smooth, creamy frosting for Brando, okay? All right, so let me get a, like a measuring cup, right? Or something. We'll go with a ladle. So this is just a mesh and we're going to sift it through here a little at a time before we put it in with the frosting. All right. So what this does is it makes sure we get all the um, clumps out of his frosting. We want Brando to bite into a smooth, creamy, red velvety 
frostingy, nutty cupcake. All right, so y'all can see what's coming out. I don't know if you can see how fine that is. We have a few crumble pieces, so I didn't sift it first. I did good by measuring it. So let's do this. And then, all right, go in for more and sift. Some of this stuff is just uh, repetitive, but made with love, homemade red velvet. I'm actually very excited. I usually she I usually steer away from uh, baking because it kind of intimidates me if I'm being honest, because um, you kind of get like one shot to get it right, right? You put it in the oven and then. <sighs> so <sighs> about halfway there, and then we're gonna take from the sifted, and that's gonna go into the frosting. So. Then all we got to do is add the vanilla and salt. And by that time, our red velvet cupcakes should be cool enough for us to stuff them and put Brandon's name on top. And I will let you all have your evening and package them up and get ready to ship. Whew. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy Wednesday. Thank you all for being here on Wednesdays with Maggie. Usually we do something um, a little bit less intricate, but this is a special occasion and a special subscriber. Um, and also, um, usually I do a substitute recipe, but um, I do cook for others. And so when I cook for the family or the boys or you all, I'll make a regular. I just got to get the rest of this weight off. Hello, hi, and good night. Hello, Linda. Thank you so much for being here. All right, y'all. I'm just trying to get through all of our powdered sugar. And this is real powdered sugar. I left all my ingredients out. So if you all want to see what I used, I will show you. We're just sifting, sifting, sifting all night. Oh, hello, hello, everyone. Oh, good night in Turkey. Ajaja, did I say that right? Hello. Y'all, we have scholars all over the globe. My subscribers are called scholars. I'm your substitute teacher. Everything we do here is classroom related. So the live chat is the study hall. I'm your teacher, but I don't know everything. You all are my scholars. The microwave is our whiteboard. Oh, I have a teacher's like wish list. Uh, thank you for Brandon for getting our KitchenAid off of the wish list. I also have a cheat sheet for you all. Uh, a lot of the ingredients and a lot of the equipment you see me using, if you look in the description, you'll see an Amazon list called uh, like Maggie's Cheat Sheet. So you can see a lot of the um, ingredients and equipment that I use regularly. Um, so yeah, you all are welcome to be active in class. So you're welcome to watch from the clouds or watch from the back of the class. Ah. Oh. Yes, good evening, good evening. So um, for those of y'all that are new, oh, I got some powdered sugar. Powdered sugar, flour, anything, it's just kind of messy. I'll wipe it all down. It just gets everywhere. That's just the nature of baking. So it's fine. This could be, this could be a good family activity. It could be a good date night activity, a little time consuming, but you know, it's still fun to cook together at home dates. You know, going out and spending money is fine, but Hopefully everyone had a safe 4th of July and I heard the fireworks. I came home yesterday and they were already starting in the cul-de-sac. So hope everyone had a safe 4th. There's a lot of stuff you can do at home and, you know, your family will enjoy it. You know, the kids love it. They don't even, they don't ever, they, mine ain't never not hungry. Oh. <sighs> Oh, thank you. He says I'm the best. Well, good night to you. So for those of you all, um, I'm on the East Coast. I'm in Atlanta. So usually Monday through Friday, I stream dinner time, 5 p.m., 6 p.m. Just depends on what, you know, got going on. 
I do work. I work from home in technology. So usually I just finish my last Zoom meeting of the day and then I come in the kitchen and whatever I'm making for myself for dinner or whatever I'm making for y'all or for the boys um, for dinner, we just cook together. That's one of the reasons why I don't really have anything prepared. Usually I just come in here and we figure it out. I get a lot of uh, recipe inspiration from everywhere. I, I follow all of the home chefs like Miss Aisha. Um, she is so incredibly gracious to share her uh, platform. She doesn't have to do that at all. So I appreciate it. But yeah, on my social media, I uh, follow all of the TV shows, all of the cooking shows. And, you know, inspiration for me just kind of came from uh, you know, working from home and I keep the cooking channels on on mute because I got tired of the news and uh, I would see these beautiful recipes and I'd say, oh my gosh, that looks incredible, but I can't have that and I can't have that and I can't have that, unlike Brando. Um, so then I said, well, I wonder if I made it and substitute that, that, and that, would it still taste the same? So that's a lot of what we do on my channel. A lot of recipes, I'm making them for the first time with y'all. And then we taste it. I will taste one of Brando's cupcakes. And uh, if I like it, y'all will know. And if I don't like it, y'all will know. All right, I'm getting to the end here. Let me see if I just... All right. Last little sift of... Uh, powdered sweetener. Marie Marie says this was fun. Congratulations on the mixer, Maggie, and enjoy your cupcakes, Brando. You did a great, great job baking, Maggie. Good night. Thank you all. We should be done in about 15, 20 minutes. We're just going to stuff these and I'll figure out what to do with the nuts. I have an idea, but y'all can let me know what you think. Okay, so we sifted out all of our powdered sugar. So we got any clumps sifted through. Whew. All right, so that is done. So now, whew, one moment, let me just wipe. All right, so I don't know if y'all can tell the texture, but literally it's like powdery fine, like an avalanche. avalanche. So you all can see here. All right. Now we're going to add the sugar to the butter and to the cream cheese so we can sweeten our frosting. I'm getting it all over me. Wannabe says make a, um, another velvet the substitute. Wait, I thought about that, y'all. An almond flour with sugar-free sugar, sugar um, plant butter. We could try it. Cocoa powder I could still have. Okay. Add in the powdered sugar one cup at a time. So let's take this out. All right. Where was I? Okay, step three. Add the powdered sugar one cup at a time, mixing on low to avoid throwing powdered sugar out of the bowl. So let's turn this back on low. And I'm just gonna start scooping. hard to get in there. This is a half cup, I believe. We're just going to let it mix and kind of turn into that sticky frosting consistency. Kia says, can you chop the nuts and put them in the icing? I thought about that, y'all. Let me try one regular and then I think we can. I think I can, I think I can. Brandon wants, and I have almonds and I have walnuts. So Brando, let me know what your preference is. I didn't have pecans y'all, sorry. First time, there might be pecans in the pantry. I'll look one more time. Ooh, notice our texture of our icing. All right. Thank you, I'm gonna try y'all. I'm always going to try. I may not get it right, but I will always try. Mm. 
it's beautiful. The texture is just getting like thick and creamy. Okay, Brando wants almonds. Yes, sir. I will chop those up for you. I will look and see if I have pecans. I'll look one more time. This is so much fun, y'all. It's like exciting, scary, but fun. So again, the recipe says put in the sugar one at a time, one cup at a time, because if I dump this whole thing in there, it would blow up in my face. Because it's already very fine. Sheila says pecans on them. Okay, so here's the deal. I know some of y'all came in early. I mean, came in later. These are not red velvet cupcakes to enjoy. I will make one for the photo, but I have to ship these. So my fear is if I put the frosting on top, when I package them, they won't look good when Brando gets them. So we are going to stuff the frosting inside his uh, cupcake. That's why I'm like, okay, how can we get the nuts in there? But I will make one with frosting on top and chopped almonds. I will make one so y'all can see. Right. Let me get a spoon. If Brando were here, then I would make them and deliver them. But we got to get them from Atlanta to San Diego. I love it too. I feel so fancy, y'all. I feel like a professional. Just scooping up the last of the powdered sugar. Y'all know the old mixer I had? Brandon replaces. Y'all, I had one that I had to hold by hand. So I'm extremely grateful. This is like, this is incredible. And don't worry, I will clean it. <coughs> hold up. Want to get all that sugar that we sifted up out of here. All right. So we got the sugar done. It's beautiful. Y'all see that? The icing on top and the cool packs inside the box will hold them together. We'll try. We will try. Okay. Step four, add the vanilla extract and salt. A traditional, traditional vanilla flavor from vanilla goes well with cream cheese, but she says, I love using orange or lemon for a unique taste. Okay, Brando, this is for you. I let you choose. So we need to put a little flavor in your frosting. I do have vanilla, but this recipe, she says she likes using orange or lemon. So I know I have a little bit of a delay. So Brando, let me know what you would like while I clean up. In the frosting, what flavor would you like? in your frosting. Oh, Beverly, that's a great idea. Crush them in a bag and let Brando top them upon arrival. But there won't be any frosting to top them on. But that's a great idea. That's a great idea. I love this. Y'all are helping me. Okay. So again, this is what we're making for anyone who just came in. You would like lemon. Ooh. Okay. So Brando wants a lemon cream cheese frosting. You got it. You got it. Okay. So we have pure lemon extract. And the recipe says a half teaspoon vanilla or orange. He wants lemon. So we have a half teaspoon. Okay. Add vanilla, but we're doing lemon, and then salt is the last thing. 
All right, so I'm gonna pour right over here. All right, so the lemon extract is going in. I'm gonna give it a little zip. I'm gonna be just like dad makes. Okay, not really, but I'm trying. Okay, and then salt. A little salt cuts the sweet or makes it more sweet. Oh my gosh, y'all, it smells so lemony and good. A little quarter teaspoon of salt. So fancy, y'all, I can just pour it with one hand. It's the little things. Christina says orange sounds good. I have a feeling we'll do this again. Okay. Okay, it says if you're not gonna use it immediately, cover it and put it in the refrigerator. We are using it immediately because I think we're done. I think all I gotta do is chop the almonds, but let's, God, it smells so good. All right, turn it off and unplug and oh my gosh y'all i gotta taste it mona's looking i know i know okay you know i got to i got to let's get in some lemon cream cheese frosting full cream full butter full sugar got me who in the salt I know I know S says I like that Brando we're all gonna call it Every, when we go somewhere we're gonna call him Brando and people are gonna be like why are they calling you Brando because Maggie's letters were missing one he said, she says, I like that Brando is stating what he wants and not just saying whatever you want. Yes, we need the men to tell us, tell me. <laughs> Don't let me make it up. That can be frustrating, yes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to check for pecans. If no pecans, I'm gonna just crush up the almonds and then we're ready to go. Lemon with chocolate. Someone is traveling to S San Francisco with cream cheese frosting. How is that going to work? UPS overnight. All right, let me check for pecans. Check, check, check. Oh. Okay, I'm checking for pecans. they may be somewhere but let's just go ahead and give the man what he wants almond brandon says yes i know exactly what i want and he said almonds so i'm chopping up some almonds okay Woo! don't get me in trouble there's a paddle hanging around here all right yes we love people who are decisive thank you Shout out to the men that are decisive and make it easy. Isn't that so frustrating? What do you want? I don't know. What do you want? Mm -mm, tell me. Okay. So let's go with some almonds. And I'm just going to chop these up. They're little slivers. I'm having a little bit of an avalanche. I want to keep them away from my frosting. All right, so I'm gonna try and get these not dusty fine, but I'm gonna try and 
get them small enough for a little bit of a garnish, and then we'll figure this out. I don't think I can pipe these. I might be able to stuff them. What I was thinking about doing, y'all, oh, Maya, she said $15. Thank you so much. We have a new stream sponsor. Whew, thank you. I appreciate it so much. Maya is ninja watching and uh, whew, she just sent $15 and then Clout Chasing sending $7. He says, just for the pure love of the game. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Hasn't come through yet, but thank you, Maya. I see it. $15. All right. Let me chop this up and then I'll get you on the board on the struggle stream. All right, I don't know. I'll just run through these one more time. And then, all right, I think we're pretty good y'all. If I had pecans, I'd have to do the same thing. Thank you, I appreciate it. Okay, so. We have some chopped up almonds. Okay, thank you, Maya. Thank you, sweetheart. It did come through. I'm just, whew, y'all. Here, might need to. Thank you, thank you. Oh, it's just stuck there, but I see it, Maya. All right, let me get you up on the board really quick. Thank you, Rodney. Let me move our cupcakes. They are nice and cool. All right. $15 from Maya. Maya also has a YouTube channel and she is here supporting. So thank you. Thank you. Oh, 15. Okay. Maya with the two Ys. Okay. All right, y'all. So we have our chopped nuts. I'm just going to wash my hands. We have our frosting. Not just because I made it, y'all. I'm your substitute teacher. Ain't nothing like the real thing, baby. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I can't eat like this all the time, but this is a special occasion. Oh, you would love to try the lemon cream? It is so good. All right. Clean hands. Okay, so now let me move one tray and I'm gonna open up. All right, so now's where the, um... all right, so we're gonna open this down. Oh my God, y'all. I don't even know if y'all can tell. So the top has like that nice little crust on it but you can see here, it's like crumbly and moist. I have to y'all, I just, I have to get into one so you all can see for research purposes. It looks amazingly good. All right, so you all can see Brando. This is your red velvet. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. We got two options. I was thinking about taking like a little circle cut out of there. Hello, Vicky and taking out the top, stuffing it, and then putting the top back in with the letter, or the piping bag. We can do a little bit of both. Let me move the knife, and then we'll figure out how to do these almonds. I gotta taste one, y'all. I'm sorry. All right, so we're gonna get in here. There you go, Instagram and TikTok. Got, not gonna take big, massive bites, just a little bite, nice and moist. One with just the cupcake. Y'all, the cocoa powder. And I don't know if y'all can tell but it's got like this little crust on the top. Y'all hear that? I think I messed up by using the convection, but it's got this beautiful crust and then the cake part. All right, I got to taste one with the frosting. Then I promise. All right. 
lemon buttercream. I mean, lemon cream cheese frosting. I know this is not what it's supposed to look like. This deserves a Maggie roll. What is the Maggie roll? Brando? Okay. The frosting, it's creamy and sweet, but it's got that lemon that gets you back here. And then it finishes with that little bit of saltiness, almost like if you've ever had like sea salt caramel or sea salt. Oh my God. Okay. So focus, y'all, this is excellent. Okay, so let's fill the bag and let's see if we can, I'm thinking if I just like go right in the middle, I kind of just pressed it. L let's see what that looks like. If I need to cut, I will. Not fair, <laughs> looks delicious, <laughs> looks divine. I know, it's so good, y'all. Okay. Um, piping bags. So we have icing bags. I'm going to move the nuts to the back because I don't want to knock them over and I want to practice one. Once we get it right in a way that we can ship because we got to pack them in here and close them and ship them to San Diego. Okay. So let me move this. I wish y'all were here. Oh my God. You would love it. Love it. So we'll figure out the nuts in a second. I'm just, I'm a little slow. Okay. All right. Let me clean my surface. We got our almonds taken care of. All right. So we've got a bag here and we are going to fill this. So what you can do, some people can fill by hand. I'm not that good. Get a coffee mug or any kind of cup. Um. For stability, this is just like a highball glass. And then we're going to put the piping in here and kind of put the lip around the glass, okay? So this way it's easier to fill, okay? Because if you hold it by hand, you get the frosting on your hand. I'm not that good. All right. So let's get a spatula. And I'm just going to scoop up big old portions of lemon cream cheese frosting. So smooth and creamy, thanks to Brando's mixer. Maggie roll, yes, let me know. Um, I will, um, I'm gonna make sure we have enough to spell Brando's name <laughs> and then the rest, I'm happy to, all right. And then we're just going to kind of come lift up around here. If you're good enough to do it by hand, do it by hand. I am not. I'm not a professional. And I'm definitely not a pastry chef. Then I'm just going to shake, shake, shake. Kind of get down to the bottom. All right. This was actually kind of fuller than it needed to be. Okay. Now. I probably should have put that little tip in there. Let me, some people tie these. I'm just gonna twist it. Okay. I'm thinking. Brando says salted caramel is what my dad uses since he's diabetic. His kids can't tell a difference. Love it. Okay, so we're gonna clip the tips. Just practicing. Okay, it'll go down. I haven't cut the tip yet. I'm just seeing if the weight of this will go inside. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Comes out clean, so it's done. All right, so I'm gonna get a scissors and I'm gonna clip this and then we're gonna squeeze it in there, see how it looks. All right, 
next time don't fill it so much. So I'm just gonna, let me clip away from the food. I don't want any plastic. Okay, so. I'm just gonna squeeze and lift up. Okay. I want to do the whole thing, but ah, it won't shit. Okay. Um, let me turn off the light here. I'm trying, y'all. We're gonna do a couple different variations. Let me see what it looks like with the letter on top. I could do more frosting. I could absolutely do more. What I was thinking, we have some edible letters here, mostly, <laughs> that spell his name. Hello. Uh, all recipes? Oh my goodness, y'all are watching on TikTok, hi! Oh my gosh, let me plug it up before the battery dies. Hello, I love all recipes. Thank you for watching. Y'all, all recipes is watching on TikTok. Oh my goodness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you want to see the full screen, I'm on MaggieTheSubstituteTeacher.com, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. Okay, focus, Maggie. Brando, thank you so much for watching. So I'm going to get one of these edible letters. How do they come off? I don't want to break it. Okay, just kind of bend the paper. Okay, this is what I was thinking. Lauren says, do I have a metal tip for the bag? I forgot to put it in. This is what I was thinking. I know it looks really plain, but I was gonna spell Brando's name with these. So that's why I, I could stuff some crushed almonds inside. I could do that. Brando. <laughs> One of you says ship the piping so he can frost it himself. <laughs> I'm trying y'all. Okay. So we have one. All right. Um, I'll wait and see Brando. I'm on delay. What do y'all think about this? I know it's not as much frosting as we want on top. The other thing I was thinking about doing is like cutting a little bit, popping the top off, filling it and putting the top back on. But then I was like, how would the letters stick? All recipes, you got any ideas? Thank you, Jersey. I appreciate y'all. Let me move the mixer so y'all can see. Oh. Okay. Uh, Lisa says, I think you're better going in the side to get more icing in the cupcake. So go in the side. Okay. Okay. I'll give that a try. So just going to go in. I want him to be able to unwrap it himself. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. Pipe more holes, put a little on the little. Pipe more holes, okay. Pipe more holes. So let's try one more. So let's go in the middle and do one. 12 o'clock. Three o'clock, six o'clock, nine o'clock. I do need that metal tip. And then get his name. 
we have this one done. Where there's a will, there's a way. Every bite now has frosting. I just feel like that. Does that look okay? Y'all like that? Where is Brando? I just, okay. All right, I'm just gonna keep going in the middle and then when Brando comes back, if he likes the extra ones, I'll just keep doing it. But at least we're doing the middle. So B, R, Okay, A. After the holes, then do a thin layer to cover. Yeah, let's, um, let me spell his name and then we'll see how they fit in there. I might be able to do it. Y'all might be right. Let's see. N. D. Oh, he's here. Okay, Brando. So hopefully you see what I'm doing. I'm using the piping bag to go in the center and I put, I went all the way down. And then as I pulled up, I put the cream cheese in the middle and then I put the letter. The class was worried that this wasn't enough frosting for you. So they suggested I pipe more holes. So I tried to, you know, do more, or there was also the suggestion I send you the frosting. Do you, are you okay with this or do you prefer just the one dollop? and then I can pack the extra cream or you want me to do more on top? That was the question. Let me get one more cupcake for, cause I feel like that one's out of place. And y'all can tell me what you think. But that was the question, sir. Is there a way to do a hole in the top and fill it with icing and then put the top back? I was thinking about this, y'all. Okay, this one we went through the side. Let me get Brando's name first so he can see and then I'll tell you all some of the other options I was thinking about. So I'm going in the middle all the way down, squeeze and then pull up. Okay. All right, I'm out of ends. So we have I'm going to redo the R just so you all can see, and then I'll show you what I was thinking. And Brando, you can let me know. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. All right, so I'm out of ends. So we got Brando. He says, pipe more holes. Yes, sir, you got it. Okay, let me clean my hands. All right, the man said, pipe more holes. So that's what I'm gonna do. What I was thinking, I will, I will do all of them. Let me get the package. The other thing I was thinking, y'all. All right, so we take this out. And I was thinking about getting a little paring knife and like doing Taking this out. Really giving it some good frosting. And then 
What do y'all think about that? It kind of messes up the top. Did I say something? Okay, let me just, happy, wholesome and family friendly. Okay, so I thought about that, but I didn't know if that presentation, we would get more frosting in there, but then I was like, how do I do the letters? Okay, then we have our nuts. One second, let's try, let's. Exactly, exactly. Okay, focus, Maggie. Where is the packaging? Okay. So this is what's gonna get overnighted to San Diego. All right. So we either have one hole, more holes, or like donut hole. Ah, oh, thank you, Miss Aisha. Okay, so Miss Aisha, thank you. Here is my dilemma. Our red velvet cupcakes are done. They're cooled and great. So we are going to ship these to Brandon L. Jet. I already messed up. I'm out of ends, so he's going to be Brando because I only have one in. Okay, so they need to be shipped overnight to San Diego. So of course, you know, we would decorate the whole cake and then sprinkle the nuts and all that. But since we have to ship them, I was using my little piping bag to go inside like one hole and put the little letter there or multiple holes. For this one, I cut a piece out, filled it and put it back in. So y'all like that? <laughs> exactly. That's it, Maggie. Incorporate nuts into the frosting. Okay, so y'all like that. So Brando, do you like that? I'll do it one more time so y'all can see and we'll add the almonds, okay? Because I, I didn't have. So we have our cupcake. It's cooled down red velvet cupcake. We got our lemon frosting icing. So I'm taking a paring knife and I'm cutting a pretty big hole around the middle. It's not perfect, but then I'm popping out. Okay, so I made a little crater and then I'm gonna fill this with frosting and some of the nuts, okay? So I'm gonna fill that up. All right. And we chopped up almonds because I didn't have pecans. A little messy. Uh, and then So Brandon, you like the, uh, okay, you like the cutout. Okay, so then what I'll do is I'll put the little dollop on top and then put your letter, because we're spelling your name to say thank you. So this is what you will receive. So frosting is inside a little bit on top. Okay, so. Score, y'all like it? Okay, okay, so now let's see. I'll redo, I got enough. <laughs> I think we got enough to spell Brando's name. So we have, I bought these from Walmart, hoping to be able to ship. Y'all love it? Okay, so. If I frost them and add the nuts, if I ship them, will they look a hot mess when he gets them? That's my only fear. These are going from Atlanta to San Diego. Kia says winner. Okay. Trust me, y'all. If I didn't have to ship these, it wouldn't be as, <laughs> but I'm determined. Okay. So y'all like that. So let's do this one. So we got the B. Oh, I didn't put the, we'll just sprinkle some nuts on the top. Um, So we have the crushed almonds on the top. And 
And these may move a little bit in transit. All right, and then we'll move the R. <sighs> It'll be fine. All right, B, R, coming together. Okay, all right, so this is gonna be a giveaway. <laughs> um, let me get a fresh one. <laughs> Who's here for kitchen snacks? All right, so go in with them, take it out of the foil. Hello, uh, yes, we're making cupcakes for Brandon. Okay, so we're gonna, yo, we got a nice little crust on there and the lemon cream cheese frosting. All right, so we're gonna pop this out carefully. We're gonna go in here. So when he bites into it, he has frosting and some chopped. Nuts. All right, then we're gonna press the little piece back as neatly as I can. All right, and a little frosting on top, A. Oh, thank you. Lauren says, put a drizzle of frosting thin and apply to the nuts to help them stick. Oh, on top of the, on top of the cupcake, I hear you. One thing at a time, y'all. Oh my gosh. Oh yes, Brando's gonna give us pictures when they arrive, y'all. Scared. I'm gonna take pictures before I ship them. Um, yes, and so I'll post these on my Instagram and, and everywhere. <sighs> okay. Um, keep going. B-R-A. N-D-O. All right, so let me at least get his first name. Kinda. Now I can cut the ones that I've already dolloped and press it back. Okay. So let's, oh, e. yeah, I could, I could. My little factory worker brain is just like, just keep going. All right, pop this out. We got a little beautiful core. It's nice and soft with a little crust on top. Smells like chocolate. All right, give him a nice little cream cheese, lemon, all right. And some nuts, almonds. I'm try I was trying to get them inside. I didn't mean for them to go on top, but at this point, y'all, all right, and we're gonna try to push that back in. <laughs> okay. All right. In. I'll even out the almonds. Oh, God. I will. Okay. All right. Two more. Brandon, the next time I see you, I'm going to bring you a cupcake with frosting on top. Okay. Whew. All right. Cream filling. Chopped nuts. It's 
Sorry, y'all. This is uh, just a little repetitive task, but I want to get it. Show you the end again, Brando. Okay. Yes, sir. One second. Ugh. All right. So here's the D. Okay. If you want to see the letter N. So it's kind of lifted up. Hopefully, because the frosting inside, like it'll, I want to try and get one clamshell closed and we'll see how kind of sturdy it is. All right, here is your D. Brandon. <laughs> but Brando. And then one more. The O. Okay. Here. All right. Pop out center. Give him a nice little. I saw the cupcake tins with the lids, but it had like that dome lid. Unless inbox me the one you're thinking of. Um, I thought about that, y'all. I, I have been like all day yesterday and today looking at different packaging ideas, dreaming about like how to get this frosting. Oh, the nuts. How to get the frosting. All right, put our chopped nuts and then try to press this down in and then little and then the O. Oh, I forgot to take it out of the foil. Amazon has all kinds, yes. Oh my God, I can't. I don't think I can take any more directions. Hold on. Okay, B-R-A-N-D-O, Brando. Now I'm going to dust it with a few more almonds. So the almonds, I sh yes, I could have put some extra frosting on there, but I'm not too concerned about the almonds. If they move around, I just wanted the cupcakes to kind of stay intact. Okay. All right, Brando. So, okay. Now, let me clean my hands and try to cover this. Y'all have got all, oh, you love it? That's all that matters. I'm trying. Okay. Let me clean my hands and close it, see what we got. All right, y'all. So we have this little clamshell lid that should snap on. Oh, let me take a picture. All right, take a picture before I put the, we got extras we'll figure out. I just need to get Brando in the jets. All right, um, quick little video. All right, so to thank Brandon L. Jet for the KitchenAid stand mixer, we made his favorite red velvet cupcake stuffed with, stuffed with a lemon cream cheese frosting topped with chopped almonds. This is a full flavor recipe and we have spelled his name as a thank you. Almost. Enjoy. All right. So let's see what happens when we try to close it. All right, looks good. Thank you, Lynette's Cakes and Catering. No pressure, right? I am not a pastry chef, I'm just a home cooker. The cupcakes look amazing. The tops look like a crown for a king. Y'all are being too kind. Okay, Whew. now, all right, Instagram and TikTok, let's see I would love to know Lynette's Cakes and Catering, since you are a real chef, I just play one on YouTube. Do you ship and how do you ship cupcakes? Uh, 
Um, are they all the same? Hold up. Oh, there's three bo there's bottoms and tops. Ah. Okay. I kind of look like I know what I'm doing. Now, I am going to box these and overnight them. I know the nuts are going to move around as long as the cupcakes don't. That's my only fear. See how much space we have? Looks good. See, she ships jars. Exactly. <sighs> okay. So let's get his last name and we'll end. Oh, I'll decorate one. But let me make sure we get Brandon's. So we have the first one ready to be overnighted. Okay. <laughs> but I'm grateful. I'm so grateful. He did not have to buy us this stand mixer, y'all. Okay. All right, where were we? Letters. So Brandon L. Jett. Lynette says, a bakery in my area inserts straws into each cupcake to keep them steady in the clamshell and then ships frozen with ice packs. <sighs> okay, let me think about that. Hello, Liz, but that makes sense. I hear you. Okay, any truckers going to San Diego? Okay, so we got Brando. Um, looks good, looks good, looks good. Okay. Let me just move all the extras. Come and get it, y'all. <laughs> all right. So we got to do one more clamshell. We're spelling his name. Okay. Well, I'm counting what I got. Jet is J E. Oh, T, <laughs> T. Now, we have a J, E, only one T? Oh, no, birthday. Okay. Um, and an L? Yes. And we'll just do an asterisk for the period. Okay, so Brandon L. Jet. <sighs> wow. Okay. So <laughs> I'm looking around. Oh my gosh, y'all. Yes, I will save one just to do for icing, but I want to make sure I get Brandon's full name Brandon L. Jet. Okay, L. Period. Okay. Brando, y'all already know. So he likes what we've been doing. So let me go in here and spell his last name. All right. Pop out. For anybody new here, y'all, I do everything live. So I don't really have anything prepared. Let's give him a nice amount of lemon cream cheese frosting in that cupcake and our chopped and then put the top back on. Kind of press without deflating it. It's going to rise up and a little dollop Yes, absolutely. Oh, that would be such an honor. Brand, please. Um, you are in the stream, audio only. First of all, let me stop. Brandon, I have to say thank you. This was incredibly generous of you to get us this KitchenAid mixer, and I am trying to put it to good use. 
So please speak to the class and let us know whatever you'd love to say. You are in the stream audio only. How is my audio doing right now? Awesome. You sound great. Okay, good, good. Um, welcome, class. Good evening to everybody. Sorry, I am a little bit flustered right now. I, had, I had just got done driving, but I am here. You have any questions for me, Maggie? No, sir. Well, um, the only question I don't think you can answer now, I want to know how these are going to ship, but I'm glad you're here to see me making them because I'm going to take lots of pictures. Um, I guess tell me your love for red velvet. Does it have like a, a memory, a significant memory, or why is this your favorite cake? Well, for me, uh, the red velvet, it is my favorite, of course. Um, it is the one that my father had made a lot in my lifetime. So it has a lot of value to it. Um, it was the last thing that, that my grandmother made before she passed as well. So, so it has a lot of family value too. That's probably the main reason why I like Red Velvet so much. Well, I hope I make you proud. I can tell you it does taste really good and it smells incredible. It smells like chocolate cake, y'all. Um, so I, I'm just, I'm honored to make these. I couldn't think of anything else that I would want to make with first with our stand mixer, um, but something that you want. And um, I'm just really, really excited. This is a first for me. Y'all know I'm a cooker and not a baker, but uh, I'm giving it my best effort. And uh, I really do think you will like it. <sighs> well, I appreciate it very, very much. Thank you for taking the time to actually make them. Um, I am going to share them with my godson, of course, so that he can eat them too. So you will have multiple people testing your uh, theory. Okay. I'm not, uh, I'm not afraid of feedback. And how old is your godson? He's three, right? He is three. Yes. So that is correct. Be very honest. He will. Maybe share privately if it's bad. I don't think it'll be bad. Oh, I, I have no worries about that. You have Good. delivered and everything that you have given me so far. Aww. Thank you so much. So, um, I was telling everybody the story yesterday uh, when we did the unboxing of, you know, when I met you in San Diego at the meetup and you're like, is there anything you want for your cooking class? And I was like, oh, I can't really think of anything. And you were like, pick whatever you want. What made you, and again, thank you. I'm so grateful, but what made you want to uh, spoil our class and bless us with something so generous? Well, well, pretty much um, it was rather easy. Um, when I first met you in person, uh, other than Lead himself, you were the first person that I saw at, at the door. So it was just a warm spirit that you had. You were very, very friendly. And you actually brought me some gifts too. So I could not say no to that. For, for the class, she brought me an apron, a hoodie, and a favorite of mine's kettle corn popcorn. Oh, that's right. Forgot about that. I did bring you popcorn. Yes, I am eating some right now as we watch this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Can't wait for the kids to taste it. Yes. I just, you know, I'm the daughter. Y'all have seen Nana, and that's just how my mom raised me. You know, we just feed everybody. And, you know, if you don't have much, you can give what you do have your time, your effort, um, <laughs> food. And uh, like Brandon said, I always have snacks. I'm gonna be that old lady with the, the mints in her purse. So, oh, I totally forgot about that. But yes, Brandon has been such a pillar in my community. Y'all know he's a student, I'm sorry, I'm a student. He's also um, a subscriber on Lead Attorney's channel and just such, such a great, 
great supporter. He's a moderator on the channel. And uh, everybody put BLJ in the chat. Um, I'm so excited. After these red velvet cupcakes, what else do you think I should make with this mixer? Anything you've been wanting me to, to make that uh, I haven't made yet? Oh, J-E-T-T. <laughs> That's a great question. Um, I am not exactly sure yet. Uh, okay. Just give me some time to actually think about it. Um, yes. But I will have an answer for you by tomorrow. Oh, no problem. Well, I'm not going anywhere. I stream every day. This is a labor of love for me. I'm trying to pop out this center and get this frosting in here. I'm so excited. I think you and the grandson will enjoy these almost done y'all just got a couple more and i'm going to overnight these to san diego and i cannot wait for you to give them a try let's press that in there last one so is it okay if i'm calling you brando today you understand why absolutely yes <laughs> Oh, yes. BLJ. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Y'all are tired. I understand. Does anybody have any questions uh, for Brandon? I just got, so we got J-E-T-T -T and the L. Okay. I have an L. And uh, would you like me, someone mentioned I should pack some extra frosting. <laughs> would you like me to send a little extra frosting or you think you got enough inside these cupcakes? Whoever said that, they are a genius. Absolutely. The more frosting, the better. We will make do with what we have. And okay. so I will do that. I will scrape out a clean piping bag and tie it neatly. So you all will have extra lemon cream cheese frosting. And you can't, oh, my light went out. Hold up, y'all. I think it goes out after a certain time. Let me just press this on. Put, um, We'll put an asterisk for the period and I think we are done. I'm going to sprinkle it with some more. Okay. J E T T L. Okay. Let me clean my hands, turn on the light and uh, put on the top and we are done. Oh, <laughs> all right, everyone. So I'm going to sprinkle with the remaining almonds and put the top on here i think we're good well we don't really have too many more just a few oh i was going to decorate one for a photo all right i wish i had pecans for you but all right so so we have j e t t and then L period, okay? Brandon L Jet. So I will get a box and get them insulated. I mean, yeah, insulated well. All right, so what do we have left over? We have quite a few left over. So these are going to Brandon, y'all. I think we did pretty good. I am very excited. All right, so for the last, last thing, so I'm gonna decorate this one. So Christina wanted a cupcake. Someone else was supposed to inbox me. I think Linda, you wanted one. Inbox me, I don't mind wrapping it up and shipping it to you. Um, okay, so four, I'm just gonna start in the middle and go You got to have a steady hand, which I don't. You're doing right. well. And the recipe said to take a little bit of, a little bit of cake and crumble it. I'm just going to crumble it in here. And this is what I was going to top, top them with. All right, 
So do a little bit more. This is your red velvet. All right. Instagram, TikTok, branded. I wish I could ship them like this. Now y'all are already coming. Careful what you wish for. All right, let me take one picture of this and then I will let you all have your evening. But we made our um, eh. okay, let me just take a picture of the cupcake. And then I will take a bite and then, oh, thank you. Oh, yes. Okay, y'all, let me get in here. Our red velvet cupcake. Oh, all right. And then the video, and then I'm gonna taste. All right, so we made the red velvet cupcakes with the lemon cream cheese frosting and the topping is crumbled red velvet. Enjoy. All right, y'all ready? Ay <laughs> On top of everything, Brandon. Oh my goodness. First you buy the mixer and now $100. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Wow. Wow, thank you, Maya. Thank you, Rodney. But, oh my God. All right, we have a new sponsor. You all know him and you love him. Where's my marker, y'all? Oh, let me put Brandon up on this board. Oh, here it is. $100 for B L J. Brando coming through with the heavy hands. I can ship it like that. Oh, ship them like this. Well, Brandon, if they come out good, I'll do another. We'll do a banana bread for you. Let me just get the marker off my hand. All right, y'all. This was an epic stream. I am going to peel it down. Okay, <laughs> ladies, proper etiquette. Mm -mm. Really, I should use a fork, cut a small piece, but I'm gonna take a small bite with the frosting and the crumble. Y'all, did you send another one? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, hello TikTok. Brandon. I have no words. He says, always tip the chef, ladies and gentlemen. On top of the first hundred dollars, on top of the KitchenAid mixer, and I can't even spell your name right, two hundred dollars. Thank you. I am so incredibly grateful. Thank you. Y'all don't even have to be here, let alone watch me struggle cook and struggle stream. And then you go above and beyond like that. Did I even charge? What I was going to say, Brandon, I know, I know, just, I have no words, y'all. He's incredible. What I love, and I hope it's still there when these get to you, that crust that's on top of the red velvet, it gives it like a nice little crumb, 
crumb top texture when you bite down into it. The cake is very nice and cakey, but like I could eat the top of this. All right, y'all. Cupcakes are first come, first inbox. One, two, three, four, five. Christina, there was somebody else I've already forgot. Inbox me, Maggie the substitute teacher at gmail.com or Facebook or Instagram. I'll pack it up and these will go out. Yes, this was so <laughs> swirl the towel. Y'all want the Maggie roll? <laughs> okay. We got a Maggie roll. <laughs> Y'all, it is so good. This is so good. Thank you, Brandon. I will put um, an extra piping bag, a frosting seal just for you. And um, oh, thank you. You're very welcome. All right. TikTok class is dismissed. Oh. If I could figure out how to do it. Thank you all so much for being here. Oh my gosh. Here I come. Thank you so much. See y'all tomorrow for another struggle stream. Where is it? There it goes. All right, Instagram. I didn't get to all of y'all, but thank you so much. Class is dismissed. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch. Thank you, Miss Aisha. I appreciate it so much. Wednesdays will be Wednesday with Maggie. We'll do something simple next Wednesday. Um, and for those of y'all, I'm Maggie, the substitute teacher. We'll do something simple tomorrow too. All right, y'all, class is dismissed.